welcome to a C++ tutorial on basic um, string methods that you can create using for loops and the string class. So let's begin. Uh, what I have right here are just preset values from the ASCII table here. Uh, I can leave a link in the description to an ASCII table, but uh, this is uppercase A, lowercase, I mean uppercase Z, lowercase A, lowercase C. Um, you just need to know these because we're going to be converting words to uppercase and to lowercase. So the first thing we want to do is we want to say uh, we're going to create a standard uh, string called just our word here, and then we first and then we want to standard c out enter word just like that, and then we can standard c in our word just like that. So now we, that we have our word, we can start doing things with it. So we're going to create another variable, and this is going to be our uppercase variable. So we're going to convert the word into uppercase. So the first thing we have to do is we have to say for int i equal to zero, while i is less than the word dot length. Oops. i plus plus. And then we want to say if word dot at i so if the word dot at i and because we're accessing a character value we can compare it to numerical values because every character value is assigned a value on the ASCII table so if it is greater than or equal to um, to uh, 97 and word dot at or not 97 uh, we put uh, low a because we're going to find it up there and word dot at i is less than or equal to lowercase z. So if it's in between lowercase a and lowercase z, then what we want to do is we just want to say um, uppercase plus equals um, word dot at i plus or minus 32. And the reason that we're doing this is because we want to append this string here with the current iteration character minus 32 because subtracting 32 from an ASCII value from a uh, lowercase ASCII value will get you the uppercase uh, ASCII value for it because of how the table is set up and the differences between these two numbers if you did it, it would be 32. And then we can just go ahead and we can and then also, we just want to say else upper plus equals word dot at i, just in case it's not an uppercase, because we're going to be typing it. You'll, you'll see in a minute. All right, so this is our uh, lower to upper method here. The next one we're going to be doing is our upper to lower here. So we're going to say for int i equal to zero, while i is less than word dot length i plus plus and also we have to go up here we have to create our standard string called lower and then we're going to go ahead and we are going to say if word dot at i is greater than or equal to uppercase a and word dot at i is less than or equal to uppercase Z, so if it's in between uppercase A and uppercase Z, then what we want to do is we just want to say lower plus equals word, oops, word dot at I plus 32, and then else lower plus equals word dot at uh, I here. Alright, so then if we go ahead and we standard C out. Uh, upper along with our uppercase here and then a new line and then we can also standard C out lower along with lower and a new line alright let's see if I uh, print data there let's see if I messed anything up there so if we go ahead and we just type in the word word and all messed up, uppercase word and lowercase word. All right, that seems to work. 
the last thing that we are going to be doing is we are going to be um, reversing the string. So I'm going to go up, go ahead and create a uh, another string called backwards here. And how we're going to reverse the string? Uh, just reverse string here. We're going to say for int i equal to zero, while i or no, no not equal to zero. While for int i equal to word dot length, while i is greater than zero, i minus minus. What this will do, this will uh, reverse iterate through the array. I mean, through the, well, it's a character array, that's what a string is. So it'll reverse iterate through the string, basically. And then what we want to do is we just want to say backwards plus equals word dot at i minus one. The reason you add the minus one is because when you're going backwards, it gets kind of weird and you just have to add the minus one because I don't, I don't really know why. I have, when I was testing this earlier, it just would run into a bunch of problems if you didn't add the minus one. So just make sure you add the minus one. And then this should reverse the string, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to copy this and then reversed here and then backwards. So let's go ahead, let's try it out. So we say word here, and there we go. We have an uppercase, lowercase, and reverse string, just like that. All right. So yeah, that was that will conclude the end of this. Uh, or, that will end this short tutorial on uh, basic string methods and for loops and such. Um, I'll leave all the source code in the description. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.